After downloading HP UFT, the latest version 12.53, now let us see how to install the software into your platform. So my environment right now it's Windows operating system. So how do I install it? When you download it, it was a zip file that is UFT 12.53. It was around 2.4 GB. That was the file. Now what I've done is I've extracted that file and I've put into this folder. Now once you extract that, you have to just open that folder and you'll get a file as setup.exe. That's an executable file. So now if you want to install that, you have to just double click on that setup.exe file and you'll get that. And you'll get this window. Now if you see that says different options. First I'll minimize this window. Yeah, it says many options you can install. Either you can install HP UFD, the latest version, Unified Functional Testing. Or if you want to see the installation guide, you can see that there is around 70, 80 pages, which you can see there. Also, you have Unified Functional, functional Testing add-in for connecting to ALM. UFT can be connected to ALM whether via the add-in. So that add-in also you can download. There are some result viewer and so many options are there. But right now we are looking for how do we install HP UFT into our laptop or PC. So I'll just click on that place. And it will ask, do you really want to install? I'll say yes, yes, I want to install it. And now it keeps on opening the uh, different documents, I mean the pages. And now I have to click on this next. I have to accept all the conditions which they are saying and I'll click on next. Now, this is the main page. Now, what does this main page say is, these are different add-ins which you want to download, which you want to install. Add-ins, I, I mean to say, there are different environments. Suppose you're testing any application on web-based application. So it will say you need to add, download or install the web add-in. So if you see, there might be a web add-in available. Yeah, if you see, there's a web add-in. So if you're testing for Java application, you can install Java add-in. So here it is the Java add-in. If you see, there's a cross given on the Java add-in. So make sure if you want to install that Java add-in, you have to click on that place like this. And you have to select the first option will be installed on the local drive. So remember, whichever application you are going to test, if it's a Java application or .NET application or SAP. So select that of uh, applications, uh, you can say as add-in and that you have to install. Right now, by default, they have given the ActiveX, Visual Basics, Web Add-in. And also they have given some product documentation. So, so similarly, based on your requirement, you can select and use it. Right now, in this example, I'll just uh, install the Java Add-in because I can show you what will happen in next. So I'll just click on this Java Add-in and I'll click on this will be installed on local drive. That's it. And I can just click on this part as next. After this, it says UFT configuration. You don't have to do any changes. You have to just click on this place as install. Okay. So once it says, once I click on install, it will take some five to 10 minutes depends, right? And uh, it will start installing the, uh, you know, UFT part. After installation, it, give, it will give you a window. I'll show, the, show you that window, how it looks like. Yeah. Let's wait for the installation part. After the installation is complete, you'll get this kind of message box which says completed HP Unified uh, Functional Testing Setup Wizard. So that is done now here. So if you want to open a readme file, you can just select that checkbox. If you do not want, you just deselect that. If you want, you can see the open installation log. It's not required right now. And finally, I'll to just click on finish. So I'll just click on finish now. So once you click on finish, you'll get, you'll get this kind of icons which says unified functional testing and the second one says as result viewer so we'll see what is that so that's it this way you can install and uh, if you just double click on that this window will get open automatically right so if i'll just double click on that window the the icon which is given here so it will ask you a message box do you want to install a license or do you want to continue as it is so right now i'll say i just want to continue i don't have the install version right so as soon as i click on this continue part i'll get this kind of window which says uh, add in dialog box Suppose you're testing only for web-based application, let's say Yahoo, Gmail, or any website, tutorialspoint.com website. So your job is just to select this web and remove this other options, right? These are the different add-ins. And suppose if you're uh, testing for some other mobile applications, you can just select this mobile and you can remove the other part itself. So based on your requirement, you select the add-in whichever you want. What is the reason is it will take less time to load, okay? Otherwise it will try to learn the uh, different properties of different objects. So right now I'll select as 
you know any of them let's say activex mobile and web and i'll click on okay so once you click on your uh, okay button now you can see that's a unified functional testing version 12.3 that's the latest version earlier it was known as qtp quick test professional so once i click on that you see that's a user interface of uft that's a newer version and the look and feel is much more better than the previous version so i hope you have able to understand how do we install the hp uft 12.53 version and that's all for this video